Good morning. Will I go into the actual office or will I work from home? That is the question. Right now I'm feeling very, I will work at home. And it's, I don't even know, like almost seven o'clock. It is seven o'clock. <sighs> I should go to the office. Justin didn't sleep well, so he's staying home, which always causes a lovely distraction because I like it when he's home, but also it's a distraction and I have a lot to do. <sighs> I don't know. Well, I have not checked in seeing you guys since I got up this morning. Justin ended up staying home. I don't know if I said that already, um, but he did. And I ended up staying home because he really wanted me to. And I also didn't feel like going to the office, so it's not, it's not actually raining, but it's like really overcast and chilly today. So I was like, mm, I don't want to. Uh, so I didn't need a whole lot of convincing not to go in. But it was kind of chaotic. Um, I did, so during lunch, I got this finished up. So now this looks really cute. I got out my Linux Holly mugs. I changed out the background on that so that it actually goes with everything. And then I got out the all the different holiday like dishes and stuff. And these were the ones that were up there that I moved down here because a week from today, we're having a cookie party. So I need to wash all of these mugs. Our new dishwasher is finally coming tomorrow. It gets installed on Monday and then that's all going in the dishwasher. <laughs> but yeah, so I got that. Um, Justin is taking the recycling so that giant box is gone. Um, he also took the Goodwill. So all of the things that I have been collecting as part of my um, clutter-free Christmas are on their way to Goodwill. Um, so I'm caught up on clutter-free Christmas. I found some clothing items and um, some like fantasy self stuff that I could get rid of. Um, and then, yeah, just all of the excess Christmas ornaments are gone and I feel absolutely great about it. <laughs> I put the Christmas boxes back in, well, most of the Christmas boxes back in the garage on their shelves. I have two in there that I need to organize this weekend um, and make sure there's nothing else in there that I need to get out and then put them out there. And then there's a big box down there that I discovered today had Christmas stuff in it. So I need to pull out, there's one thing in there that I think is still gonna go out because it. It, it's a little um, like baking style tree that has little ornaments on it. Um, so I need to get that out of the other boxes, put those ornaments on it, and then those boxes can go back out into the garage. And then all the Christmas stuff. So decorating is done. I still have to put the background up for my little Christmas village thing because it, it looks awful with the cords all hanging down. And then I want to cut some the, the like stupid looking tops off of our holly bushes to fill the little um, my little barrel thing on the front porch, which I don't think I've shown you guys. But once those things are done, which I plan on doing this weekend, Christmas decorating is complete and really it'll just be cleaning and preparing for the cookie party. Um, today I am going to make the gingerbread dough. I'm making Polish gingerbread cookies as my cookie for the cookie party and the dough needs to age. So I'm going to make it today and then I'll make the cookies next Thursday and then Friday, probably at lunchtime, I'll glaze them. So yeah, that sounds like a lot of work. But tonight is just making the dough, which I feel like is the easy part. So I'm gonna get out the KitchenAid mixer and get started on that. Well, I guess I'll be making the cookies after we go eat dinner because I just realized that I never set out the butter because um, I need the butter to come to room temperature. Uh, and also the eggs have to be at room temperature. 
so fail. Um, so I'm going to set the butter out now. I'm not going to set the eggs out just yet, just because I don't know, like when we go to dinner, maybe I will. I'm going to look up how long it takes eggs to get room, to room temperature because I don't want to leave them out for too long because that just sounds like a recipe for food poisoning or something. So, fun times. In case you were on the edge of your seat waiting to find out the answer to this, it takes 30 minutes for eggs to come to room temperature. So definitely gonna wait to set those out. All right, so I just spent the last, like, I don't know, 30 minutes, hour? I don't know, I lost track of time. Whatever amount of time um, editing Wednesday and Thursday's vlog. So that will go up tonight. Um, and then now I am going to sort through that stuff in the living room that's still Christmas stuff and see if I can get those box put, boxes put back up in the garage um, so that we are clear of Christmas boxes inside of the house. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. These two are the hot mess that need to be handled. Um, I don't know if anybody else just appreciates the ridiculousness of this giant picture that says Santa's coming to town being in front of our fireplace, which looks boarded up. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. It works just fine, but it's a wood-burning fireplace. And we were worried initially that Einstein would go in there because he likes to hide in weird places. So that's why there's a cork board in front of it. Next year, these will be gas logs. <laughs> Um, and then my Christmas village, which like I said, needs background because you can see all the little cords hanging down and it looks gross. So need to figure that out this weekend. But now we are going to tackle this hot mess. So I started to try to do this earlier and realized, and then I got sidetracked because um, you may remember from previous years, these go on... Um, there's a red shutter, which is in the garage, but I haven't figured out where to put the red shutter. Maybe over there? I don't know. I haven't figured out where to put the red shutter, so I don't want to put these up yet because I am going to put the shutter up. I just need to figure out where it's going to go, and then I can pick out which ones of those I'm going to use. I also have another cute idea for some of those, so I don't want to put those away. Um, we have to decide whether or not... Ooh, that's covered in all... Ooh, whoops. Um, there's fake snow in there from when my dad brought over some of the trees for the village. These are our candles from last year. We got new candles um, for the front of the house because there's only six and we have nine windows on the front of the house. So we needed new ones anyways, but I have to just decide, or Justin and I have to decide whether or not we want to put these on the back of the house or not. That's my mom's tree skirt that she made. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Maynard. That's her maiden name. But it's so cute! Oh, it's so cute! It's felted. Uh, this is like from the 60s, like straight up from the 60s. Love it. Uh, I need to figure out... I might actually use that upstairs on top of the one that's already up there. And then a lot of... This is my... You guys have seen this before. I talked about this in pretty much every other Vlogmas. But this is my Night Before Christmas book um, that my mom always read me as a child. So I need to put that out to make sure that I read it on Christmas Eve. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So this is the base to it. And then it has these little pieces. And it has a cookie cutter star that goes on the top. Um, these are... They make a little tree that I hang these like vegetable animal ornaments on. I'm sure I've showed it before. That sounds ridiculous when you say it like that. Um, but yeah, so this was one of the last things I knew I was going to put out. And it's probably going to be... It's probably going to end up being a little bit of a mistake because I don't know... Because the place I think I'm going to put it is accessible to the cats, so they may think it's a fun toy for them. It's not. Ta-da! It looks... There you go. 
Um, yeah, I'll show it to you when it actually has things on it. It still looks silly when it has things on it, but I like it. The rest of this box, so I have these little blue trees which I've used in my background before. Um, I think I'm going to take these upstairs. I think I might have a place for them. If not, then they'll get packed up and used next year. Um, other than that, I think everything else is staying in the box. And then this is like a Lily Pulitzer stocking that has uh, cookie cutters in it. So I do actually need to get these out because um, I'll use them for the gingerbread. But they probably don't need to stay in the stocking now that we actually have a place where that kind of stuff can be stored. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, put these in a separate box that's just labeled Christmas baking or something um but yeah so we've got those to make gingerbread cookies i was about to say do i even have a gingerbread man yes yes i do so yeah that is it for those boxes i think i've got a game plan on what i'm going to do here wish me luck I've started this process, but the first step is to caramelize sugar. I don't like this. <sighs> oh, it's starting to melt. I'm just like terrified I'm gonna start a fire. Here's the final product. Why? Why are you using the baker? Uh, so this, there was a snafu here, but it seems to have turned out okay. And then I've got dry ingredients over here, which are mixed together. Um, and then I have a few other things that have to get mixed together, but I want to use the same bowl. So after I mix these two together, I'll do the eggs um, and the rest of the sugar. And then the last thing is the milk and baking soda. So, yes, we're, we're, we're trying. I think we've been successful. This looks like gingerbread dough. It's Polish gingerbread dough, so I put it in a Polish pottery bowl. Now it's going to go in the refrigerator to age until... Next week, Thursday, till Thursday, yep. Hey buddy, did you get some whipped cream? Is it on your face? This is delightful. I am so stinking tired. Um, so that is it for today.